All right, so today we're gonna be putting together a wing. We've got a piece of mylar that needs to go into the wing cell. We've got our blower, some wing struts, some down tubes, some battens. This thing is disassembled. We had to do a leading edge replacement. This was a 2011 wing. And uh, yeah, the leading edge is usually the first thing to give up the ghost uh, once they get more than a decade old, uh, depending on the climate that it's stored in. And so we're gonna be putting this piece of mylar in the sail. So we're not gonna be showing the actual sail on in this video, but how do you get that mylar into the sail? Now, this side we've already done. And a lot of people think that this um, trilam on the outside leading edge is structural. It's really not. But what it's doing is it creates an envelope. And this white material, this Dacron here, this six ounce Dacron, that is the structure behind this leading edge. And then that envelope holds this mylar, which is a very thin piece of plastic. And that helps to give us the uh, shape and hold up to the, uh, the wind uh, when we're flying so we don't have deformation between the, uh, the ribs. So the problem you're gonna run into is if you're trying to put the mylar in, it'll go in halfway, but then it's gonna get stuck. And when it gets stuck, uh, you can use a pole. In fact, they actually put uh, I believe this little hole at the end here, you can kind of put a little uh, nail and a board and try to, to, to push it in. But uh, we're gonna do it a different way. We're gonna use the, um, we're gonna use the uh, blower and I'll show you how this works. And now these cuts in the mylar are so that it can make that compound curve, especially when the wing's flexing. So we know that these cuts need to go towards the bottom. And so the bottom of the wing is that way. And you can see this is an older mylar. So normally this is flat, but it wants to curve because it's been in the wing for, you know, 15 years. So with that said, we're gonna roll it over this way. We're gonna make sure we get it in the correct orientation. And we're gonna start it in. We're gonna start feeding this in. And so far, because it's so much smaller, because that, that leading edge tapers, it's real easy. It wants to go in, no problem at all. Get a little stuck right there, but it'll keep going. And it'll keep going. And starting to get a little sticky, but still going. Still going. And I can see that we're about two thirds of the way in. Get real sticky and that's about it I can push all day long I can't get this in so now what well I mentioned the blower and uh, it usually helps if you have a second person so Jeff if you'll come around and we're not looking for a lot of air so don't go full blast or anything but just go ahead and give it a little bit and that just inflates it a little bit more all right let's see if we can keep going look at that look at that look at that all the way in like Magic, okay, bring it out. And now I'm gonna start patting it down. Now, it is possible that the end curled and we wanna check for that. If it did, we gotta pull it out, start all over again. So I'm gonna keep patting it down. You can follow me this way. Keep patting, here's a high spot. And uh, there's some curling, but it's flattening out as I'm pushing it down. So I know that's all good. Just like that, we got it. And that is how to put a piece of mylar in fairly effortlessly using a blower. Thanks for watching.